HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Field 6 at Hopkinton High School for Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Tom Nappy alongside Larry Sacklad on the call. Our cameraman this afternoon is John Ritz. It is a beautiful Thursday afternoon for Hillers softball as they get ready for their first playoff game this season it is 79 degrees outside sun is shining gorgeous weather to get the postseason started and today it is the 13th seeded 13 and 6 hopkinton illers against 20th seeded 9 and 8 milton mustangs it should be a good matchup here today as i welcome in my broadcast partner Larry Sacklad to give us the Milton batting order. Thanks, Tom. We have the usual suspects. Kristen McCluskey at third base. Alyssa McIntyre at shortstop. Emily Whalen 
at second base, Bella Ansi at first base. Jordan Chavary in left, Katie Hawley in center field, Megan Sullivan right, Jillian Cedia behind the plate, catching her sister, Juliana Cedia. There you go, Tom. All right, and there's the Hillers defense. And now for the Milton lineup, leading things off, Jill Vaughn, the shortstop, Ava Hilaire, the pitcher batting second, Marilyn Carroll, the catcher hitting third, Kaylee McCormick. The first baseman hitting cleanup, Grace Long, the second baseman hitting fifth, Brianna DiMaggio, the third baseman hitting sixth, Lila Glenn, the center fielder hitting seventh, Jill Rundlet, the right fielder hitting eighth, and Mackenzie Kalaney, the center fielder hitting ninth for Milton, and we are ready to get things underway. Jill Vaughn, the shortstop, steps in for the Milton Mustangs. The lineup and the pitch in there for a strike. That's a good sign, Tom, right off the bat. It certainly is. Milton's team is very young. They only have one junior, Rundlet, out in right field. The rest are freshmen and sophomores. Certainly impressive to make the postseason, then, if you're as young as the Mustangs of Milton. A one-and-one one count. There's strike two, one-and-two. Hopkins has got to make some hay today if they want to go deep in the playoffs. They had an, they were beaten up on teams really cruelly at the beginning of the year, but they've been on a slide. That pitch inside, two and two. Yeah, they started off very nicely, but they've lost four of their last six. And Cedia is set to deliver. And this is hit in the air up the left side, picked up by the shortstop, throw to first, not in time. And Jill Vaughn has an infield single. That'll bring up Ava Hilaire, the pitcher. Guess that's why she's bats leadoff. She got some speed. See what she does on the bases. Certainly showing it off there. Does she know that Jillian Seedy has got a cannon for an arm? We'll see. Seedy is set to deal. Swing and a miss, 0 oh and 1. Well, Juliana Cedi for the most part has pitched well this season for the Hillers. Four and one on the mound, a 305 ERA, 13 appearances, as there is a strike. Looked a little high to me, that's good. Wide strike zone. She has pitched 75 and two thirds of an inning and struck out 61. This is hit in the air right side. Whalen ranges back and makes the catch. Emily Whalen showing off some range for out number one. Marilyn Carroll, the catcher, will step in. We got some celebrities down here I've spotted. Former Tri Valley MVP Alex Reynolds from 2017 Boys Varsity Baseball team. Killer Baseball set to get things started off. I'm told more than likely it'll be on Monday, but that is still to be determined. Could be Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be something. They will take on the winner of North Attleboro and Milton. As this is up the right side, Whalen with the flip to first gets out number one. Hansi thought about throwing a second, but held up as the runner got back quickly. Four to three for out number two. Kaylee McCormick, the first baseman, will step in. Jill Vaughn advancing to second. See Emma Murphy, last year's only graduate from this team. She was up at Endicott College for her freshman year. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice change up by Juliana Cedia. Way out in front of that pitch. We have another celebrity sighting, Tim Simos from Army. Cedia deals up high. Larry, this is the first time this season the Hillers have had a game on this grass field. And you could tell there's no divots, there's no right. go for holes or anything. And they've been practicing on it all week long. There's a strike, one and two. Very generous. Tim Simos played at Army, second year, starting second baseman at a 982 fielding percentage, one of the best in the country. Cedia deals. Swing and a miss. There's strike number three. Four out number three to the bottom of the first we go. We are scoreless here at Hopkinton High School on HCAM. 
We are set for the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at the Hillers lineup. Starting things off is second baseman, Emily Whalen, the designated player, Tara Kester hitting second, center fielder Katie Holly hitting third, Jillian Cedia, the catcher, hitting cleanup, Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, hitting fifth, Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, hitting sixth, Juliana Cedia, the pitcher, hitting seventh, Bella Ansi, the first baseman, hitting eighth, Jordan Chevary, the left fielder, hitting ninth. And now for the Milton defense, I send it over to Larry Sacklad. Uh, Brianna DiMaggio, that's a baseball name for you, playing third base, Jill Vaughn at short. Grace Long playing second base, Kaylin McCormick at first, Mackenzie Mullaney in left, Leela Glenn in center, Jill Runlett, the only junior in right field, Marilyn Carroll behind the plate, Ava Hilaire. There's a bunt down the third baseline, picked up by Hilaire, and she's not going to get him. Overthrows the ball, and that'll be a uh, so free bag. Whalen will take second on the overthrow, but a nice bunt down the line. I almost got the last player's name in there, but we should mention that uh, Jennifer Martell is coaching first base. I haven't mentioned her name all year. The assistant coach Shannon for Shannon Alberry coaching third. Tara Kester, the designated player, steps in. She, she rules the roost at the Kester residence. She's got home run power. First pitch is a strike, 0 and 1. Runner on second, no outs for the Hillers. We'll talk about the brackets as well throughout the broadcast. The winner of this game advances to take on Plymouth North this Saturday. Got some type of conversation with the home plate umpire and the Milton coach. Not quite sure what the conversation is about. Perhaps talking about a quick pitch, maybe. Milton is led by head coach Taylor Metz, assisted by Rebecca Perchucho. I knew that. Wind up in the pitch from Hilaire. It's another bunt foul. Oh, and two on Kester. Tara Kester this season has hit a 392 at the plate. 20 runs scored, 15 driven in. Five doubles, two triples, two homers to her credit. Hilaire deals. Up the left side, foul. Her brother who plays third base for the varsity baseball team doesn't have any homers. In your face. <laughs> They should have a uh, home run derby. Uh. <laughs> Lair deals. Swing and a miss. Out number one. Nice changeup by Hilaire. And now coming up to the plate, the TVL Large MVP, Katie Hawley. And Very well deserved. I knew she was going to get it from day one. I think it's on our first broadcast. She's squaring the butt right now. During the regular season, she hit a whopping 620 and takes that one low. She has scored 32 runs, driven in 34, six doubles, six triples, and a homer to her credit. And 50 steals. Something like that anyway. And of course, very good fielding percentage. That is fouled away, one and one. With her power, I'm not quite sure of that uh, strategy. Maybe it's to put one run on the board. All right, Larry, I got a quiz for you. What do you think Katie Hawley's fielding percentage is? I would say it's uh, 930. A 1,000. Ah. Down low. You got a bad official scorer. Two and one. <laughs> She's made some real web gems. Wind up and the pitch. And that is... In there for a strike, says the home plate umpire, two and two. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I mean, the girl hit how many home runs this year? Five? One. Well, one? All right, but she got, she got power to all fields. Six doubles and six triples, though. Yeah, I know. She'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. Here comes Whalen. One to nothing. Hillers and Holly will stop at second. An RBI double. 
See what I mean? She got gap power. So Whalen comes around to score, and that'll bring up the cleanup hitter, Jillian Cedia, with Katie Holly at second and one out. She got five bombs on the air, I think. I think I predicted five bombs if you want to go back through all the YouTubes. You are correct. She also has a 569 batting average, 15 runs scored, 32 driven in. An opportunity driving more runs here. Inside heat, 1 0. Oh. Think that was a purpose pitch, Tom? Back her off the plate? Yeah, it might have been. Uh, Things could get ugly here. Look at how deep the center field is playing. Three steps, she's up against the fence. And that is foul. Off one and foot. one. Maybe our crack cameraman could catch the uh, depth of the center fielder. She's playing right near the fence. She could shake hands <laughs> with the fans out there. <laughs> Hilaire set to deal, up high. Good take, good take. Two and one count. Run around second, one out, a run already in for the Hillers. Crowd filling in. Hilaire deals, down low, three and one. I don't know, maybe with an open base, she's trying to pitch around the ever so dangerous Jill Cedia. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Blair deals. Up high, and Cedia draws the walk. So it'll be runners on first and second for the Hillers. And we'll have a pinch runner for Cedia. Uh, let me guess, Heather Sifo. That's right. All right. Good eye. <laughs> the only Mustang not wearing a mask in the infield is the first baseman who almost killed you during infield outfield practice. <laughs> that, that was the closest I think I've ever come to getting hit. Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, will step in. She is hitting a 434 on the season in her sophomore year. 16 runs scored, eight driven in, three doubles and three triples to her credit. Line up and the pitch. There's the bunt up the left side. Slow roller. And the pitcher has no play on it. She looked over towards third, but Ollie was already there. And by the time she turned back to first, it was too late. Everybody's safe. Bases loaded for the Hillers. And we'll bring up Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop. I see her dad down here, her brother Brett McIntyre, great right fielder inside. For the 2017 varsity baseball team. Alyssa McIntyre at a 343 on this season. 15 runs scored, 13 driven in. Hilaire deals. Swing and a miss. One and one. <laughs> Hilaire deals. Down low. I was going to say in the turf, but it's in the dirt for the first time this year. <laughs> That's right. Get some dirty balls. Blair delivers. Swing and a miss. Two and two. The ball gets behind Carroll, catcher. Holly will be at first base. I mean, Soft at home. Sophomore pitcher delivers up high that time. Full count. A walk would score a run. And this is hit up the left side. That drops in fair. Here comes Holly. And here comes another run. And two runs will score for the Hillers. A two RBI single for Alyssa McIntyre. 
Katie Holly came around, as well as Heather Sevo pitch riding for Jillian Cedia. And Kristen McCluskey up to second. And it's 3 0 Hopkinton. That'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher. That was a two RBI single by Alyssa McIntyre. That's right. The whole fam on, on hand watching the game. Good piece of hitting there. <laughs> and now Juliana Cedia coming up to the plate, but first Milton going to have a conference in the pitcher circle. Juliana Cedia at a 438 on the season. Seven runs scored, 11 driven in, four doubles and a homer to her credit. And the lefty steps in. Line up and the pitch, up high. One and oh. Up this Hiller's offense, keeps it going. Could be a long afternoon for Milton. Or a short afternoon for us. Inside, two and oh. Kristen McCluskey getting a good secondary lead over there. Slightest bobble by the catcher. She'll be over at third base. Three runs have scored for the Hillers. Two on, one out. Down low, three and oh. The walk here would load the bases for Bella Ansi. The right fielder's playing awful shallow for Juliana Cedia. I'm not going to say anything, but. It's a powerful left-hander. There's a strike. You know, Plymouth North might watch this broadcast. Better be careful what you say, Larry. Yeah, they, I mean, midfield. They'll pull a midfield and watch all the games. Upstairs, she draws the walk. If they get a win by cheating, then, it's you know, so be it. It's using your resources to your advantage. No cheating there. Bella Otzi, the first baseman, will step in. We're going to have a pinch runner for Juliana Cedia. Mm. And the pinch runner is going to be Carly Stevens. The backup catcher, Carly Stevens. Bella Otzi hitting a 265 on the season. Five runs scored, nine driven in. Fouls that one away. Oh and one. Blair is set to deal. Down low. One and one. That's what Bella Ansi's fielding percentage is this season. A thousand. A thousand. Right. Played a perfect first base. Takes a strike there, one and two. Hopkins has speed all over the pillows. And this is going to take a couple hops. Throw to home, they'll get the out at home. So it's a one to two force out that allows Bella Ansi to reach. Fielder's Mac choice. McIntyre moves up to third, and Carly Stevens pinch running for Juliana Cedia moves up to second. Jordan Chevery will step into the batter's box. The Hillers have batted around here in the bottom of the first. Wasn't a particularly hard hit ball back to the pitcher. Wind up and the pitch fouled into the backstop. Jordan Chevery hitting a 453 at the plate. 13 runs scored, 14 driven in. And that's foul. 0 oh and 2. With two on, the runners should get a nice, greedy secondary lead going on contact. Down low, and the runner from third gonna try to score, the flip is too late. And it's four to nothing, Hillers. Alyssa McIntyre comes around. Great base running by Alyssa McIntyre. It certainly was. She scores on the wild pitch. 
Carly Stevens up to third. Ansi up to second. A one and two count on Chevery. Two outs in the inning before runs have scored for the Hillers. Check swing for a strike. And that'll wrap up the bottom of the first, but the Hillers plate four, and they lead it four to nothing as we head to the top of the second on H camp. Top of the second inning, due up for Milton is five, six, and seven. Grace Long, Brianna DiMaggio, and Lila Glenn to face Juliana Cedia. And the first pitch is a strike. Lots of freshmen, lots of sophomores. So oh, and one. Coach is going to be very lucky next year. Line up and the pitch. Outside, one and one. Will we be traveling to Plymouth? Should the uh, Hillers advance? It's we'll an executive decision on your part. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to talk to the... Uh, Committee. That pitch is inside two and one. Maybe we'll go down to town meeting and ask him if it's in the budget. <laughs> Wind up and the pitch. Hit high in the air. Emily Whalen is going to track it down. One away. Shit. She had to fight the sun a little bit. It'll bring up Brianna DiMaggio, the third baseman. Emily Whalen involved in three defensive plays already out of five hitters. She got a TVL honor. Named to the, uh, as a TVL all-star, well-deserved. Pitch up high. I think uh, Jillian Cedia was uh, also voted, voted an all-star, true? That is true. Huh? Down low. She has certainly been unbelievable behind the plate. They got the book on her. They uh, tried running on her, her last year a lot, and not that successfully. Upstairs by Juliana, three and zero. Oh. Juliana, or, uh, Jillian Cedia, nine ninety fielding percentage, which is unbelievable for a catcher. And then Emily Whalen, a 982 fielding percentage, which is very impressive for a second baseman as Brianna DiMaggio draws the walk. They'll bring up Lila Glenn, the center fielder, one on, one out. Jillian going to have some words of encouragement for Juliana. She's not too happy with herself. Free pass. Emily Whalen heading to uh, University of Massachusetts Amherst. You enjoy the dining hall. She'll be a minute woman. Light up and the pitch. Bunt pulled back, but was it a strike? I it was. It was. It was yes, a strike. Sir. Oh, and one. Walks has play, uh, have played uh, Juliana lately. And the umpire and the Milton coach. Having some words. One on, one out. And Lolly Glenn, the center fielder, getting some coaching before she steps in and is going to bunt again. Slow roller picked up by Ansi. Throw to first for one, throw to third by Whalen. They nearly got the runner at third. But the job is done by Lila Glenn to push DiMaggio up to third. That was very heads up fielding by Alyssa McIntyre over there, rotating from shortstop over to third on that bunt that was charged. It's a good throw there by Otzi as well. As Jill Rundlet, the right fielder, steps in. There's a strike. Oh, and one. That's what experience will do for you. CD is set to deal, just outside, one and one. 
Well, I'd say this is the hottest day we've had this season for a game, Larry. Definitely, definitely. I was going to take my shirt off. I didn't want to scare anybody, though. <laughs> That's uh, H Camp policy. You got to wear a shirt during the broadcast if uh, you're working with us. No bow shoes. <laughs> uh, Two and one. Jill Seedy is trying to steal pitchers from the umpire, not meeting with much luck. And this is hit in the air, and Alyssa McIntyre makes the catch. For the third out of the inning to the bottom of the second we go. It's the Hillers leading four to nothing on H Cam. Bottom of the second inning. Pretty good crowd on hand here on this nice afternoon to catch some playoff softball. Stepping in for the Hillers for the second time today is Emily Whalen. The Hillers batted around in the bottom of the first and plated four runs. Look for her to bunt. And there it is, foul. Oh, and one. Whalen did reach safely on a bunt in the first and scored the first run of the game. She's known for her slap hitting. She'll hit the ball between third and short. She'll run up a little bit in the box. Blair deals upstairs. That's what she was thinking. She hits the ball between third and short. She's guaranteed to be on first base, Tom. That's what slap hitters do. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a slap hit back to the pitcher, throw to first, and an out. Almost always they make the, the, uh, <laughs> the hit. I'll bring up Tara Kester, the designated player. She had two bun attempts in her first plate appearance, unsuccessfully. Up high. Good eye there by Kester. Oh, she's hitting over 400. I don't know what she's doing bunting. Line up and the pitch to the sophomore in there for a strike. Down low, two and one. Tara will be around for another couple of years. Hilaire deals, three and one. Pretty good contact hitter, got some power. 3-1 from Hilaire. In there for a strike, that'll fill up the count. Milton can get in and out, one, two, three, that'll be a moral victory. Line up in the pitch, up high, and Kester draws the walk. Not happening in this inning. That'll bring up Katie Holly, who had an RBI double to score Emily Whalen for the first run of the game in the first. And she has one out and one on to work with. And a little chop hit there, foul. She had a left center field gap shot in her previous at bat. One and oh. That pitch in there for a strike. One and one. A whole lot of Hiller's playoff action going on right now. Girls across team over at Franklin and girls tennis in action at the high school courts. One and two count now. Try to get you updates from those matches throughout the broadcast. Down low, and Kester going to take off from first, and she is safely aboard at second base on the wild pitch. Do you have your moles giving you information from the tennis courts? 
Well, if uh, anybody <laughs> tweets anything. <laughs> Hilaire deals, and that is foul. Count remains two and two. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklett on the call for this playoff softball matchup between the 13th seeded Hopkinton Hillers and the 20th seeded Milton Mustangs. That pitch inside, full count. You know that we are supported by our viewers and Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street in downtown Hopkinton. Visit them at mybillspizza.com. And this is hit foul. Count remains full. <laughs> one out, one on. A full count on Holly. Continues to battle Ava Hilaire. Hilaire deals, and this is up the middle to the second baseman. It's bobbled. Everybody's going to be safe. Runners on the corner is a hard hit ball by Holly. Oh, don't be generous. That was an error. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I agree. She's already close, hitting though. over 600. You know, you have to pat her stats. <laughs> Jillian Cedia will step in. We'll see what the, I wonder what the official score gave her there. There's a strike. Katie Hawley walks down to second base. No throw. Stolen base there by Hawley. Defensive indifference by Hawley. Being harsh today on the I stats. Am. I, nobody covering the base. Inside. That's still a stolen base. No, it's defensive indifference. They can't give her a stolen base. There was nobody covering the base. She just walked there. It's not her fault. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. One and one. Hit in the air over to center field. It's caught. Runner from third going to tag, and she'll score easily. A sacrifice RBI flyout by Julian Cedia. Tara Kester scores. It's 5 0 Hillers. Katie Holly stays put at second. Kristen McCluskey, the third baseman, to the plate. Well, now will Kristen show bunt and Katie Holly steal third, Tom? What are you thinking? What are you thinking now? Very possible. Katie's got great speed. I think it's swing away here. Up high, one and oh. Kluski had a single last inning. And she will butt. Good call by Larry. Picked up by the catcher, throw to first, and they'll get the out. Nice try, but just not quick enough there. And that's the third out of the inning, but the Hillers plate another run. It's five to nothing Hopkinton as we head to the top of the third on H cam. Top of the third inning, a five to nothing lead for the Hillers due up for Milton. It's nine, one and two. Mackenzie Mullaney, the center fielder, Jill Vaughn, the shortstop, Ava Hilaire, the pitcher. Juliana Cedi has set the deal, and it's a bun. Is that fair foul? You gonna call her out or no? Hit her in the batter's box. I'm gonna call a foul. That's what they did, they called a foul. She was out of the batter's box, she, she, would, she, she would have been out. It was a tongue twister, she would have been out. Cedi is set to deliver. There's a bunt foul. Oh, and two. We got the bottom part of the order here, Tom? Nine, one, and two. I'm glad you listen, Larry, when we're coming in after the break. Yeah, I was <laughs> just watching out for our birds of prey. CD is set to deliver. Just outside, one and two. Very nice of uh, Joe Cedia's dad to come down with a nice, uh, oh, I don't know what you would call it. Kenzie Mullaney, just a freshman. A tent, a sun tent Inside. for all the girls to sit under to stay cool, but nobody's under it and they're all outside. 
That's pretty shady over and there. And here's the uh, the Bishop girls, I think. Their dad's the principal of the high school, I think. What's two that? Can you two. help announce? I don't have to ask your dad. <laughs> I need my job. <laughs> a full I hear count. You like, I hear you like the, the movie Frozen, true? When you were younger? I think so. This Swing and a miss. Shit. Out number one. That changeup's been very effective for Juliana Cedia. I'll bring up Jill Vaughn, the shortstop. She singled in the first inning in her only plate appearance. Do you have a Bruins uh, shirt? A uh, Patrice Bergeron shirt, nonetheless. Just outside. That was cute. I was a little like that once. I don't believe it. I was six years old once. <laughs> There's a strike, one and one. CD is set to deal. And this is chopped up and caught by Juliana for the easy out, two away. It's nice that Principal would come down and support his sports teams. All the uh, administrative staff at Hopkinton High School are very supportive of the sports programs. I've seen them at all the games. Well, when you're the number Bishop three. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you there. Ava Hilaire takes a breaking pitch up high, one and oh. When you're the third ranked public high school in the state, you got some bragging rights. And they graduate some really, really good kids. They certainly do. There's a strike. Of course, all six teams that could have made the playoffs for the Hillers qualified, and they're all still competing. That's 100% of them, right? That is. Hit high in the air over to right field. No problem for Sullivan. And that is the third and final out of the top of the third. To the bottom of the inning we go. It's 5 nothing Hillers on H camp. Whatever. Bottom of the third inning. Hiller is coming back up to the plate. Melissa McIntyre, the six hitter, will start things off, followed by Juliana Cedia and Bella Ansi. Alyssa had two RBIs her last time up at the plate. And she gets a piece of this one, and it is caught by the shortstop. That was a great play. Great play by the shortstop. Yeah, Joe Vaughn covered some good range there, and that'll bring up Juliana Cedia who tripled in her last plate appearance, or excuse me, walked in her last plate appearance. And she will chop this one up the left side, and it kind of takes a stop, and no play will be made. An infield single for Juliana Cedia. Wasn't a blast, but it had a lot of English on it. That had a weird stop to it there, but she'll take it. And Carly Stevens coming back out to pinch run. That'll bring up Bella Ansi, the first baseman. First base woman. That's true. Come on, Tom. It's 2019. <laughs> <laughs> that went up high. The select first baseman. <laughs> One and oh. Blair deals. Upstairs, two and oh. And that is hit up high and out of the reach of anybody. Two and one. Line up and the pitch down low. Oh, let's go bowling. Three and one. I'd say Belancy a little overdue for a hit. Bruins are playing game five at the Garden tonight. 
Who you got? This is going to take a couple hops. Picked up by the pitcher. Throw to first, no problem. I got the Bruins. Bruins are going to win tonight. Absolutely. With Zdeno Chara and his broken jaw. He's playing. He Un is playing Unbelievable. Tonight. I wouldn't have played, but he's playing. He can't even talk, but he's going to play. It's good communication with his defensive partner. That's what the Stanley Cup's hand all signals. Right. That's what the Stanley Cup's all about, right? That's right. Got to play no matter what. Be his last chance, I reckon. Chevery struck out in her only plate appearance and takes ball one there. One on, two outs for the Hillers. They have a 5 nothing lead here in the bottom of the third. How would you score that last play, Tom? I scored it a 1-3. to three. Up high. Two and oh. Hilaire deals inside. It gets away from the catcher, and Carly Stevens advances up to third on the wild pitch. You're giving that a wild pitch, not a pass ball? I'm giving that a wild pitch. That was in the dirt, I thought. Wind up and the pitch. Strike, says the home plate umpire. Three and one. Fouled away, full count. Defensive swing there. Some of the fans seeking, seeking some shade out in center field. Left field. Laird Eels. Low and inside, and Chevery draws the walk. Runners on first and third, two outs. Emily Whalen coming to the plate. Now I've got a feeling that Jordan Chevery is going to take second base on the first pitch that she sees because nobody will cover. Watch this if Emily Whalen doesn't swing. You called it. <laughs> they did cover, though, but there was no throw. One and oh. All right, give her a stolen base then. <laughs> now Emily's in a position to knock in a couple of runs. And cho chops that foul off the catcher's mask. One and one. Varsity boys uh, captured the number one seed in their division. They have a bye. That is an impressive thing to do in that South Division two bracket. That pitch down low, two and one. That bracket is just loaded. You gonna go to that game? Absolutely. Right here in Hopkinton. Not sure when it'll be yet. That's fouled away. Two and two. You could have shared some of your sports strength with me, but it's the kind of guy you are. <laughs> Hilaire deals. Down low. Don't forget, Ashland Legion baseball coverage starts this month. We are set to start on the 13th, but high school playoffs could certainly postpone the start of our coverage. We'll keep you updated on hcam.tv as well as our social media outlets. As that is fouled away, and Wayland continues the battle. Runners are off on that pitch with two down. Runners on second and third, two outs. Five nothing lead for the Hillers here in the bottom of the third. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, and Whalen draws the walk. Tara Kester, the designated player, will step in with the bases loaded. Let me make this guarantee right here. She will not be bunting. 
That I can believe. Line up and the pitch, down low. Well, it seems that the sophomore pitcher, Ava Nalera, having a little bit of some control issues, so I think you try to take as many pitches as you can here. You can never tell with those masks. Up high, two and oh. Their facial expressions. Ava deals down low, three and oh. Walks as good as a hit here, Tom. Now if I'm Tara Kester, I'm not swinging at anything right now. Oh, you think she's got the take sign, do you? I doubt it. I think she's got the take all the way. <laughs> With Katie Hawley on deck? Of course. There's a strike. Three and one. Now she'll head away. Nope, not hitting yet. We got the gentleman's club out in center field there, do we? Line up and the pitch. Strike two. Now you swing. <laughs> and now the base runners will be off. That's why I don't coach. Right. <laughs> They'll be off on the pitch. The layer deals. Up high, she draws the walk and a run will score. Good eye by Tara Kester there. Well, the Milton coach just signaled to her catcher to go have a little convo. I think that's what they call it these days, a convo. So Carly Stevens comes around to score. So another run then. Chevrolet up to third, Wayland to second, Kester to first, Katie Holly to the plate, takes ball one. Right fielder playing kind of shallow, and the center fielder is way out there. 6 nothing lead for the Hailers. Down low. 2 and 0. Oh. Hot day could be getting to the uh, Milton pitcher. He's throwing a lot of pitches so far. And the catcher, Marilyn Carroll, will come out and have a word with Hilaire. He's probably saying, just throw strikes. That'd be my guess. The other pitcher listed on the Milton roster is Julian Rundlet. Right fielder, yeah. She doesn't look particularly interested in coming into this game right now. Line up and the pitch. Down low, three and zero. Oh. As I like to say, you couldn't get that with a nine iron. Holly swings up the left side, it goes. One run is in. Here comes Whalen. The throw is going to be off the mark. Two runs will score. And it is a two RBI hit for Katie Holly. Score that a two RBI single. She advances to second on the throw in. And it's an eight nothing lead for the Hillers. Tara Kester up to third. You give the left fielder an error on the throw? No? Nah. Okay. Julian Cedia will step in. Jillian is one for one today. She has singled, scored a run, and last inning had a sacrifice RBI flyout. The inside, one and oh. That was a purpose pitch right there. Would you explain to our uh, audience what the mercy rule is here in girls softball? It is 12 runs or more after five innings. Getting close, getting very close. Line up in the pitch, down low, here comes another run. Kester will score easily. Nine nothing Hillers. A wild pitch there allows Kester to score. And the count is two and oh. Holly advances to third. The Hillers continuing to rack up the runs. There's a strike, two and one. They needed this game to build their confidence. What seed is Milton as they come in here? 20th. 20th seed, okay. Winner advances to play fourth seed, Plymouth North. Up high and almost out of the ballpark and now Holly is gonna score. 
Katie Holly comes around to score on the very wild pitch. It's 10 nothing Hillers. Some signs of de dejection from the pitcher. She didn't cover the plate, so Holly took it. So the bases are clear for the Hillers. Two outs in the inning, 10 nothing lead for Hopkinton. The best Jillian CD can do is hit a solo home run. Down low, three and one. Claire deals up high and Cedia draws the walk. I think Heather Sebo will come on to pinch run. You thought right. Kristen McCluskey will step in. McCluskey is singled and grounded out. And the Hillers for the second time this game have batted around. There's a strike. Now Coach Alberry is abiding by sort of the unwritten rules of softball slash baseball, not stealing a base when nobody's covering with being 10 runs up. Up the middle, picked up by the shortstop, flipped a second, and they will get the out. Six to four, force out at second base to retire the side. But the Hillers played five more runs here in the bottom of the third. And they lead it 10 to nothing as we head to the fourth inning on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the fourth inning, 3, 4, and 5 due up for Milton, who find themselves down 10 to nothing. And the catcher is going to take ball one, Marilyn Carroll. Did you happen to notice one of the improvements uh, to the field here by our crack maintenance crew? You're going to have to spoil it for me. Uh, uh, it's batting it's fluorescent orange foul poles. Ah, there we go. Two and oh. Brighten things up a little bit. Upstairs. Says the home plate umpire. Three and oh. Milton hasn't had a base runner for a little bit. CD has got herself into a groove. There's a strike. I think her sister stole that strike. So 3 1. Hit in the air, foul territory. That'll fill up the count. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air towards Emily Whalen. She makes the catch with ease, one away. Kaylee McCormick, the first baseman, will step in. Katie Hawley would have caught that ball. She was right behind her. McCormick has struck out in her only plate appearance. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Inside. Any word from the HCAM uh, Meteorological Center? Well, things looking good for the afternoon. Clouds expected, but no rain. In there, four strike, one and one. Just high. Two and one. The field is playing nicely with natural grass and a dirt infield, as opposed to that stuff they have over on the other field. That one high and inside, three and one. Yeah, field here, certainly looking good. Line up and the pitch. 
And there for a strike, that'll fill up the count. I believe somebody spotted you at a lacrosse game last night. I was at the boys lacrosse game, absolutely. They in the playoffs? They certainly are. That pitch is down low, and that is a walk to McCormick. One out walk. They'll bring up Grace Long, the second baseman. Wind up and the pitch, up high. One and oh. Runner on first, one out for Milton. A 10 nothing lead for the Hillers in the top of the fourth. Hit high in the air to the right side and caught by Megan Sullivan, two away. Runner stays put at first. Brianna DiMaggio, the third baseman, will step in. Miller's boys tennis will be in action tomorrow afternoon. In their second round matchup. They play on clay or uh, asphalt or whatever you call it? It's the uh, high school courts. That's oh. fouled away, one and one. Which I believe is asphalt. Oh, they're green. Oh, that's all I can tell you. Could be wrong. No. I don't know my uh, tennis textures. It's not well. grass. <laughs> Outside, two and one. Not like Wimbledon, right? Almost, very okay. similar. Two and one, one on, two outs. What's up, Tom? Fouled away, two and two. The boys badminton team make the playoffs this year? Set to deal. Down low. Full count. McCormick will be off with the pitch. And this is hit in the air, right side foul. Just foul. Count remains full on the third baseman, Brianna DiMaggio. Milton coach can't be happy looking at that goose egg on the scoreboard, I don't imagine. Or that goose egg on the Hiller side next to the one. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna mention that. Well, this Milton team, as you mentioned, is very young and a lot of up and coming talent and not really an excuse. It's pretty good for them to make the playoffs with the youth on their roster. It's a long ride from Milton with traffic. Juliana CD is set to deliver. Up the middle and picked up by no, it goes out of her glove. Everybody's safe. A rare error there on oh, Whalen. You give her an error? Bounce right out of the glove. Oh, she had to go to her left on that one. <laughs> I don't know, it was debatable. I thought it was good that she even got to it. It is debatable. She really had a range to get to that. Not an easy play to make. And if she came up with it, I think the only thing she could have possibly done is flip to second. That's, well. So you know what? I'm not going to give her an error. Yeah. You've convinced me. Single. CD is set to deliver. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch there. 0 oh and 1. Nice change up. The young lady on second base better not uh, stray too far. She'll get thrown out by Jill Cedia. Not afraid to air it out. Cedia delivers. Just outside. 1 and 1. A 1-1, one, one. fouled away. One and two. One 
Wind up and the pitch. Upstairs, two and two. Thought about it. Pulled the bat back. Hit in the air, up the right side, foul. Count remains two and two. Not many Actually, balls uh, pulled to the left side by Milton today. According to the scoreboard, it's a full count, so we'll see who's right. <laughs> I say it's full. You're probably right. Nope, I was right. Now it's full. They're going to swipe some bags. Well, home plate umpire is going to talk to the uh, se second The coach is umpire. arguing that the count was full because of the scoreboard, but the umpire did say it was two and two. And they get double so steal. Score one for the announcer. And, and they get a double steal, Milton does. <laughs> they just walk down to their next bag. Yeah, pretty smart. Runners on second and third. Fouled away, the battle continues. A lot of long, extensive battles here in the top of the fourth between the Milton hitters and Cedia. Well, the Mustangs better get, better get on their horse if they wanna get back in the game. Hit in the air, popped up and caught by Ansi for the final out of the inning. To the bottom of the fourth we go. The Hillers leading Milton 10 to nothing on each cam. Bottom of the fourth inning, a 10 to nothing lead for the Hillers. New pitcher for Milton, Aiden Carvalho is taken over on the mound for Ava Hilaire. Or excuse me, it's Arden Carvalho. She is in a, her sophomore year. Alyssa McIntyre set to step in. She's had a pretty good day. Two RBI singles, scored a run and flew out. There's a strike. And she had a great defensive play, uh, catching a ball behind third base. Line up and the pitch at the feet, one and one. Almost hit her. Watch out there, Alyssa. Carvalho set to deal, fouled away. One and two. Eva Hilaire went three innings, gave up 10 runs, nine of which were earned. Down low. Is that behind her? I don't know. Two and two. And this is hit foul. What a shot that was. Straighten that one out. Might have been gone. A lot of worthy juniors going to be vying for captainships next year. Wind up and the pitch inside. Full count. Some speed on that one. Pitch. Whoa. Heads up, out fans. Out. Heads Half up. a dozen fans over there. Cow remains full. And the pitcher requesting a new ball. For uh, what purpose might that be, Tom? I don't know, might have uh, had some skin on it from those fans that foul ball. <laughs> or some dents in it from uh, those foul balls. That's true. It's Possible. Good, good battle here between Alyssa McIntyre and Arden Carvalho. Line up and the pitch. 
Hit in the air up the left side, caught by the shortstop, one away. That is the second time this game that McIntyre flew out to the shortstop. And now Juliana Cedia will step in. Low and inside. Juliana Cedia has walked, singled, scored a run today. Well, her pinch runner, Carly Stevens, scored the run. But Cedia will be credited with the run, and that is right towards the fans once again. Oh. Those fans got to look out over there, I guess. Yeah, well. The 1-1. One, one. Inside, two and one. Should Cedia get on, look for Carly Stevens to pinch run for her. 3-1 pitch here. And therefore a strike, full count. And the walk is drawn. One out walk to Juliana Cedia. Second time she's walked today. The Auntie coming to the plate. Carly Stevens will come in to pinch run. That's what I said. Very heavy traffic, I gotta tell you, on the way back to Milton High. Very, very heavy traffic. And this is up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first for the out. Stevens advancing to second. Four to three on the out, but a runner in scoring position, and now Jordan Chevery will come to the plate. It was kind of weakly hit, so second baseman didn't have a chance for Carly Stevens. Hit in the air, foul towards the stands, 0-1. Oh Fortunately, it didn't uh, hit anybody. Chevery so far this game has struck out and walked and gets a piece of this one of the shortstop throw to first. They'll get the out six to three for out number three. To the top of the fifth we go. The Hillers 10, Milton nothing. You're tuned in to Hillers Playoff Softball on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the fifth inning, eight, nine, and one do up for Milton. Jill Runlett, Mackenzie Mullaney, and Jill Vaughn. Juliana Cedia delivers up high, one and oh. Runlett's a pitcher outfielder, according to the roster we would give him prior to the game. She'll get a, a piece blast. of this one, and it's caught by the third baseman, one away. It'll bring up Mackenzie Mullaney, the center fielder. A 10-0 lead for the Hillers here in the top of the fifth. Up high. Patriots ring ceremony at Bob Kraft's house tonight. Did you get invited over that one? I did. Oh. Who are you bringing? Certainly not <laughs> you. <laughs> nah, I'm not going. The uh. Bruins are on. Up high. We do have a update from... Give it to us. Give it to us, please. baseball game between Milton and North Attleboro. And the reason why we care about that game is because the winner of that game will play the Hillers. Right now, Milton leading North Attleboro 7-1. to one. 
Not quite sure what inning it is, but Milton with a big lead. You've got sources. You've got your sources. Looks like they're in the fourth. So it could be uh, Milton Baseball taking on the Hillers. Baseball team as well. We'll be here for that. Absolutely. Broadcasting live, we hope. Three and one. Get our technical crew to test out our equipment before we come down to do that game. Down low, there's a the walk. One out walk to Mullaney. Jovan, the shortstop, will step in. It's one of a few walks that Juliana Cedi has given up today. It's her third walk given up. Very respectable. Got some speed on the bases with one out. Juliana CD just snapped the ball into her glove. She obviously wasn't too happy with herself. This is hit in the air. Emily Whalen tracks it down and makes the catch. Two away. Emily Whalen always one step ahead. Looked right at first base after she squeezed that ball. Now stepping in is Arden Carvalho, the new pitcher. She'll hit for Ava Hilaire. Outside. Hiller outfield playing in very, very shallow. I don't think I've seen them play this shallow all year. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, it seems like medium distance outside. They know what to do. <laughs> they, they, maybe they got the 4 one, one on Milton. Of course they do. There's a strike, two and one. Can't pull anything over the, can't pull any wool over Coach Alberry's head. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air and Whalen makes the catch, not a problem. And that is the third and final out of the top of the fifth. To the bottom of the fifth we go. The Hiller is leading Milton 10 to nothing on H cam. Bottom of the fifth inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen to start things off. Martin Carvalho on the mound for her second inning of work. Up the left side, just foul, 0 oh and 1. She just loves the bunt. Pretty good at it. Certainly is. She is two for three today, pair of singles. And a pair of runs scored. There's another bunt. This one's fair, picked up, throw to first, not in time. Oh, Whalen's safe. I don't know safe. about that, I don't know. You'll have to go into the, the slow-mo room with that. I thought it was a tie, and I believe the runner wins it in a tie. There is no such thing as a tie in baseball. Tara Kester will step in. Tara Kester has walked the, twice. The coach is appealing but I don't think it's appealable. No help. We have a potential row. <laughs> <laughs> Some disgruntled uh, Milton fans. I thought she was out personally, but uh, it's a judgment call, so you can't uh, appeal that. Wind up and the pitch down low. Throw to first, Whalen back safe. You're downtown, 10 nothing. you might not want to appeal. <coughs> you all right? Well, I gotta say nothing. This is hit up the left side, past the reach of the shortstop and everybody's safe. Two on, no outs. Good piece of hitting there by Kester. Now Katie Holly will step in. Pair of doubles, reached on an error, stole a bag, three RBIs, two runs scored. I think Coach Allberry wants to end it right here. At least this inning, anyway. Fouled away. Hit away, Katie, hit away.
Carvalho has settled things down a little bit since coming in for Hilaire. But won't settle things down here. Hit over to the left side and caught. And Whalen going to head to third. Holly got a good piece of that ball, but a little bit deeper here on the grass field. And there's one away. Runners on first and third. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. Tara could have tagged up on that one as well, but she elected to stay at first base. One swing of the bat here, she could send the fans home happy. Line up in the pitch. And she gets a piece of this one to the fence. See you later. Goodbye, home run, Jillian Cedia. A 13 to nothing lead for the Hillers. She absolutely crushed that ball. And that it's gonna do it. is going to put the mercy rule into effect. And send the fans home happy. I believe, yes, it will. 13 to nothing. The Hopkinton Hillers have mercyed Milton in the first round of the playoffs. They get the job done in the bottom of the fifth. Uh, Run blast by Jillian Cedia to put an end to this game. And she absolutely crushed that ball well past the fence. A terrific offensive display today by the Hopkinton Hillers, who take down Milton 13 to nothing and advance on to take on fourth seeded Plymouth North this Saturday, 4 p.m. at Plymouth North High School. There'll certainly be a tough battle there between the 14 and four. Plymouth North team in now 14 and six, Hopkinton this Saturday, but a great win here in the first round of the playoffs this afternoon. Now, final score for the final time. The Hillers defeat Milton by way of the mercy, 13 to nothing. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad. I'm Tom Nappy, and we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hiller's playoff softball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.